Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I'm about to head over the Convention Skyway here to the Hyatt Regency to the 2017 Contemporary Long Rifle Association show. So let's get going. All right, here we are. We're at the show. Let's go in and see all the goodies. A great display to set up uh, to honor Earl Lanning, who's one of the pioneers of the contemporary long rifle culture. And there's some beautiful guns. Let's go take a look at them. Look at that work. Is that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Now here's a beautiful basket hilt sword display. You really can't even get in the door without seeing some great objects. Beautiful old swords. Are these yours? I'm here at the West Fork Forge table with Glenn and, uh, and Cammy McCain. And Glenn forges some beautiful knives and Cammy does all the leather work, makes the sheaths, and, and they are gorgeous too. So I'm gonna have Glenn tell us about one of his knives. This is, this is, uh... Like Mike, mine, mine, he asked me to pick up my favorite one, and uh, this is probably it. This is one I made a number of years ago, but it's a copy of one that's in the National Museum there in Edinburgh, in Scotland. And uh, it, uh, it experts date it from about 1680. So it's an early uh, Scottish dirt, uh, fully evolved, uh, the full Celtic pattern. You can see it's it's carved all the way around. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, it has an, a Cop, a brass insert in the back with some uh, floral uh, engraving on it and it has a couple models on one side it's uh, it says uh, a soft answer turneth away wrath on the other side it's almost a contradiction it says thy uh, king and uh, country's cause defend though on the spot your life should end <laughs> so uh, you can see that uh, if those soft words don't work right, they're ready to right, go the other right. way huh? so, <laughs> That's pretty much the sentiment you're seeing on this knife. And let's, let's see the sheath that Cammy made for that. Yeah, Cammy, Cammy's the one that does all the leather work. And uh, you, oh, can yeah. see, you can see that we have a little Celtic line. We've taken, she's taken some motifs from uh, oh, Book of Kells and other you know, sources of, of, uh, of Scottish decoration. Uh, Scottish and Celtic decoration, I should say. And we have a little knotwork, a couple little knotwork panels. And, uh, and the... Uh, and the uh, little Celtic lion. That's beautiful work. And uh, both both pieces. Thank you. I'm here at Ken Scott's table, and uh, Ken is an excellent leather crafter. And you can see the beautiful pouches he makes. And he also provides instruction on how to make pouches like this. So let's bring Ken on, and Ken, why don't you tell us about this pouch? Thank you. American Pioneer Video and I produced the DVD. Actually, it's a two-set DVD on how to recreate the Kentucky Rifle hunting pouch. 
So I made up a, uh, a prototype here. We then recreated the pouch. American Pioneer Video owns the pouch that was recreated. This is actually a replica uh, of the pouch that was made. There's just a tremendous amount of things going on in this pouch that you can learn by looking at the video. It's got a rolled edge here. It's got the uh, bracing across the top of the apron. Here in the bellows, there's a, a flat binding on that. There's a uh, gusset that goes across here for a divider to put this gusset in down here. Pocket inside, fringe, short fringe. Just a lot of things going on in that that, that are demonstrated in that video. American Pioneer. I also have a set of patterns that goes with that uh, pouch and a book, Notes on Recreating the Kentucky Rifle Hunting Pouch. It's a companion set to the DVD. Well, I'm over at Frank and Lally House's table, and we'll start off by looking at some pictures of some of the rifles that Frank built, and then we'll get into some of Lally's really beautiful quill work. Right, I'm here with Justin Hall, and I'm at Lally and Frank House's table. And Lally's too shy to talk to me on camera, but Justin's got some of her beautiful beadwork here. Hi. Um, Justin, show me that bag. Um, oh, that is a gorgeous piece of work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And this what else all, have you this got? Is always her, this is also hers. Oh, very nice. What style is that? Uh, an Eastern Muslim. Very good. And this is also hers. Beautiful. So this recently picked up. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Here are some beautiful Lancaster style rifles made by Dan Fruth. Just nice, simple, nice Dickert style here. Very typical early Lancaster. Beautiful wood. I'm here at the Honorable Company of Horner's table, and as you can imagine, there are some beautiful horns to be seen here. Well, the other thing, like I want, you know, if I want to. I'm here today with Duana Tucker at her table, and Duana is one of the premier quill work artists in the long rifle culture. And I've asked her to pick out her favorite item on the table and tell me about it. So Duana, let's, let's see what you got. I have a slit pouch, and this is based on a mid to late 18th century style. Um, it's a bit on the large side, but it's also still typical for the era. I have several different kinds of quill work on here. I've got line work here. And I've got zigzag, these are modern terms that people use, and I've got a wrapped edge. Um, and uh, I, these are all naturally dyed quills. The red here is matter root, and so is the orange actually. It's just a matter of either the difference in the mordant or how long you have it in the dye bath. And the yellow is Osage orange sawdust. I have also done quilled netting, which is very time consuming and tedious. You don't see that a whole lot on pieces people make now just because it takes a lot of time and patience. So with this, I've got strips of leather that are wrapped two by two and then alternating here. So that makes this the makes the makes the laces all stay together like that. Well, that's so, beautiful. Yeah, Absolutely thanks. beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, that wraps up part one, but stay tuned. There's a lot more of the show to see.